Interesting facts about how glass is made. Today we're going to delve into the fascinating world of glass making. It's not just about sand, heat, and magic. Oh no, it's a whole lot more. First things first, glass making begins with a simple yet abundant resource. Sand. Not the kind your kids bring home in their shoes after a day at the beach, but specially selected sand, rich in silica. It's like the flour in your favorite cake recipe, forming the backbone of our glass. Next up, the sand is combined with soda ash and limestone. It's a cocktail of sorts, but definitely not one you'd want to sip on. The soda ash lowers the sand's melting point, which saves energy, and the limestone helps the glass become more durable. It's a bit like adding eggs and butter to your cake mix. Now it's time to crank up the heat. The mixture is melted at a staggering 2000 degrees Fahrenheit in a furnace. Picture the world's most intense bake-off. This stage is called the hot end of glass making. And no, it's not because the glass is developing a summer tan. Once the mixture is molten, it's time to give it some shape. This happens in a process called forming. The molten glass is poured into molds or blown into shape, much like a glass blower's pipe. It's the equivalent of pouring your cake mix into a tin before baking. After shaping, the glass is slowly cooled in a process known as annealing. This isn't a quick dip in a cold bath. The glass takes its sweet time, cooling slowly to relieve internal stresses. Imagine leaving your cake to cool before you can ice it. Patience is key here. Finally, we have our finished product, a piece of glass. But it's not quite ready to be a window or a bottle just yet. It must be inspected for imperfections and polished to perfection. Think of it as adding the icing and decorations to your cake. There you have it, the process of glass making, a silica sand cake baked at 2000 degrees, shaped and cooled with the patience of a saint, and polished to perfection. It's a bit like baking a cake, if your oven was as hot as the surface of the sun, and instead of eating your creation, you used it to make beautiful art or store your favorite beverage in. That's just the beauty of glass. You can use it to make many beautiful and useful things. I hope you enjoyed this simple yet interesting video. Stay tuned for my next video on how chocolate is made. Until next time, keep on looking through those glass windows of curiosity. Coach Delksey.